Welcome to our lecture online. There's another way in which we can find the capacitor required to increase the power factor, to increase the impedance in such a way that we require the least amount of current to provide power to our load. Again, we have the same parameters. We have a VRMS of 120 volts. We have 60 cycles per second on the frequency. The power requirement is 4,000 watts. The initial power factor was 0 0.8, which gives us an initial phase angle of 36.87 degrees. And the question is, what capacitor do we need to change the power factor to 0.95, which gives us a new phase angle of 18.195 degrees? So to calculate that, we can draw the two power triangles. We have the complex power, the reactive power, and the real power. That was the original situation. So since we have an angle of 36.87 degrees, that gives us a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So for a 4,000 uh, watt power requirement, we have a reactive power of 3,000 VAR, volt ampere reactive, and we have a 5,000 volt ampere complex power requirement in our initial circuit. We now add the capacitor in parallel. We then reduce the phase angle to 18.195 degrees for a new power factor of 0.95. So now we're going to calculate the new complex power and the new uh, reactive power. Because when we do that, we can find the difference between the initial reactive power and the final reactive power which gives us the reactive power of the capacitor, and then the capacitor value is equal to the reactive power of the capacitor divided by VRMS squared divided by omega. So it's another way to do the problem. So what we're going to do first is find the final uh, complex uh, power, which means we take the power here, which can be calculated by taking the SF, times the cosine of the final angle. So therefore, SF would be the power divided by the cosine of the final angle, which is divided by the new power factor. So that means we take the 4,000, divide by the new power factor, 0 0.95, which gives us the new complex power for the new circuit with the capacitor. So 4,000 divided by 0 0.95 gives us 4210.5. 4,210.5 VA volt ampere for the complex power of the new circuit. How about the final reactive power? Well, what we can see here that this is related to the final complex power to the sine of the angle. So that means we take SF final, which we just found, 4210.5, multiply it times the sine of the new angle, which is 18.195 degrees, and so that gives us a new reactive power, so times 18.195, take the sine of that, that gives us 1314.7, 1314.7 VAR, volt ampere reactive, 1314.7, yes. Now, I find the capacitor reactance power by taking the difference between the two. So the initial Q was 3000. Subtract from that the final Q, which is 1314.7. And that gives us a value of 1685.3 VAR. So that, that would be the capacitive reactive power of the new circuit. Now we plug that in here and divide it by VRMS squared times the angle of frequency of the circuit, which is 377. And that gives us the new capacitor value. So divide by 120 squared and divide by 377. And we get 310.4 microfarads, which is the exact same value that we got in the previous video using the different method, but you can see there's different ways to solve the same problem, and here's just one more of those ways. That's how it's done.